So Yasminka, could you please, uh, in a very brief way, let us know what the mandate of the Working Group on Enforced and Involuntary Disappearances is about? Uh, working Group was established in 1980 uh, as a reaction on uh, g uh, big violations of human rights at that period. Uh, there were registered a big number of people's disappearances. And the uh, beginning mandate of working group was humanitarian mandate to deal with individual complaints, but uh, in 1992 there was uh, est uh, established a declaration as an uh, international mechanism, and under of, uh, that document, uh, uh, working group received uh, additional mandate, uh, monitoring mandate. Uh, we are dealing with individual complaints, and uh, in current moment, working group uh, has uh, around uh, 50,000 individual complaints. And in some way, working group uh, is channel of communication between source of enforced disappearance and uh, government authorities. Uh, working group has five members. Uh, one member is from South Africa. Second member, uh, Jeremy Sarkin, uh, Mr. Olivier. David Bill is from France, Osman Al Haj from Lebanon, Ariel Dulitsky from Argentina, and myself from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And so far, from the work that you have done on the ground and uh, the information that you are constantly monitoring, what is the situation with enforced disappearances in South America? Uh, it's very uh, difficult uh, to say from perspective of a visit uh, to countries. Last year we had mission in Mexico and this year in Chile. But the uh, fact that I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina giving me opportunity to compare the uh, situation of enforced disappearances uh, on Balkans and uh, here in uh, uh, South uh, America. Uh, NGOs are very well organized and they have a crucial role uh, in uh, discovery of people's disappearances. Also governments uh, in South America pay the, uh, solid attention on memorials and on reparation, uh, what is uh, most important from, uh, vict for victims and that victim's perspective is crucial uh, in enforced disappearances. Uh, that what we can see there is still a need uh, to develop uh, actions in the area of justice. And uh, we uh, recognize the weaknesses of uh, 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 access uh, to justice for victims, what additionally frustrated victims, although there, there has been passed such long period uh, when violation happened. Mm -hmm. And so far from your visit here in Chile, what um, are the main recommendations that you are starting to see formulating for the state? Uh, many mechanisms uh, related to enforced disappearances in Chile are established, but we recognize lack of coordination among the different uh, mechanisms. Uh, and first recommendation is uh, normally related to justice. There should be taken additional measures uh, to have effective prosecution of uh, 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 executors of uh, violations. Uh, second recommendation is uh, related uh, to uh, truth. Uh, there should be make uh, additional efforts for coordination uh, uh, among different uh, institutions which uh, are in possession of information and that coordination includes also cooperation with uh, permanent cooperation with uh, civil society. Uh, there should be strengthening of national uh, human rights institution, partly having in mind that that institution is in the process of accreditation. Uh, that process should uh, 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 check compliance of institution with Paris principles. It is very important if such institution will get status A, it uh, will have a solid possibility to develop uh, activities under of, uh, different issues in area of human rights, including uh, option to be uh, a national prevention mechanism under of uh, option protocol within a uh, uh, convention against torture. And on the end, uh, in area of uh, reparation, 
there uh, should be uh, uh, particular attention paid uh, to uh, cover uh, uh, and uh, to cover by protection all memorials. Uh, because we heard from uh, victims that some memorials are out of uh, care because of lack of funds and so on, but it is very important for future that such violations uh, never uh, happen again.